What's going on there folks? Good afternoon. The Earthmaster here uh, with an update video on this Thursday, January 27, 2022 is the date about 12.50 p.m. West Coast time. And just FYI, the stream, Earthquake Live 3D stream is currently down. We'll be bringing that back up within the hour. So just FYI on that note. Uh, looking at earthquake activity, kind of ramping up out here around the Tonga region once again where we've seen a 6.2 earthquake strike late last night. Uh, pretty shallow earthquake out here as well. Uh, 4.2 kilometers for that earthquake uh, over the last week or so. We're still watching uh, quite a bit of movement around the uh, Tonga volcanic chain here, including around the Hunga, Hunga Tonga area, which is located within this vicinity right here. Quite a bit of uh, earthquake activity uh, continues to ramp up in this area. Uh, 6.2 struck just north of the Tonga region uh, in a kind of a kind of a, a in an area where we normally see quite a bit of deep movement but uh, in this case the 6.2 pretty shallow the deeper movement tends to occur in this area and pretty deep at that we did see a 5.2 earthquake a couple hours prior to this 6.2 uh, this 5 point this 5.2 struck at 621.2 kilometers there for the depth also a little bit of deeper movement down south here, south of the Fiji Islands, south of the Tonga area. Uh, that one looks like it could be into the Kermadec Trench inland, down dip, way down there at 503 kilometers for that 4.9. So keep an eye on this area pretty closely, folks. Uh, looking over here towards the Indonesia area, Papua New Guinea area, getting in on a little bit of activity, a 5.2 around that region, and also a little swarm of movement, fours and a couple fives throughout the Indonesia area. The Philippine Plate areas northward looks pretty quiet, except for this little earthquake uh, that occurred last night near the uh, Tokyo area, 4.5 into the Japan Trench. All other areas north here to the Kuril Kamchaka Trench, pretty quiet. Looking at uh, activity kind of dying down along the Aleutian Trench. We were watching uh, some heightened movement around the Davidoff Volcano up here. That has since, uh, at least on the USGS map, has stopped the seismic activity for now but still kind of watching that with the alert level raised uh, there to the uh, yellow and advisory um, issued from the uh, USGS volcano folks there uh, movement over here to the east up around the Cook Inlet area and areas to the west seeing a little bit of activity kick up here including a 3.7 uh, that did ramp up 13.5 kilometers for the earthquake there at uh, in that area of Alaska also movement up through the Denali area uh, through through the Anchorage region seeing some microquakes as well typical day though it looks like no oddball earthquakes to note to take note at the moment uh, in the Alaska region 3.6 struck way up here last night uh, or actually earlier this morning in this area way west off the coast here uh, but other than that things look pretty typical there in Alaska are seeing some movement uh, kick up here down in Southern California region, just north of the Garlock Fault Zone. So kind of watch this one pretty closely here. I'm wondering if this activity to the north is putting some uh, some strain here on this region of the state of California. Uh, this here is around the uh, Wheeler Ridge Fault Zone, uh, where this activity is kicking up here around Bakersfield, southwest of Bakersfield, uh, Lamont sits up here. Seen a 3.5 and a couple other twos in there as well and some ones. Uh, so keeping an eye on this area, this Wheeler Fault, uh, Wheeler Ridge Fault Zone. Let's see if we can get some info on that. Wheeler Fault. Let's see if we can catch that real quick. Southern California, the uh, Caltech website folks have a uh, pretty cool index of fault systems. Uh, and information on them and their typical probable magnitudes here and looking at the Willer Ridge Fault uh, where that earthquake activity is occurring it's a thrust fault type of setup uh, so you get the kind of like a subduction type area uh, length is only 30 kilometers pretty shallow earthquake I want to go back here and show you guys it's just north of this Garlock Fault Zone here this thrust system here kind of right at the base of the mountains you got the grapevine that sits somewhere in this area and the uh, Willer Ridge it kind of extends over here and this is where we're seeing that activity kick up here uh, just right at the eastern end it looks like of the Willer Ridge zone uh, so looking at the further activity 
Uh, recent activity, at least as far as our time goes, probable magnitudes looks to be between 6.0 and 7.1 uh, for the uh, earthquake potential. Uh, the south dipping thrust fault is associated with a complex series of folds and scarps to the west of the town of Willow Ridge and Interstate 5. It may connect at a depth with the uh, Polito thrust fault. Polito, right? Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Uh, so, not for sure exactly about this one, but, uh, you know, if it's connecting uh, at a depth there of a, of a different uh, fault system in the region, that could make it more damaging, right? When it comes to, uh, let's see where, well, there it is, there's the uh, Polito fault zone. This one's a different type of setup, kind of moves down here to the south, but uh, either way, they mentioned that it's possible that these two fault systems are connected here at a depth, but uh, something to watch, right? Especially when we haven't seen a whole lot of movement here uh, in this area. Actually, if we go back over the last seven days, uh, we did have some movement north of this Bakersfield area. Uh, up here, a little swarm outside of Corcoran. Uh, Kettleman City area, seen some deep movement. Look at this activity up here, 12, 12 20 kilometers. For quite a few twos kicking up in this region and these folks here at the usgs not showing any uh fault structures here at this area uh so kind of watching this region pretty closely we have seen over the last week an increase in activity in ridgecrest uh and of course this prior swarm up here and now the swarm outside of bakersfield so got to watch this area pretty closely and i just can't help but wonder what it's doing here to the garlock fault zone pretty lengthy fault system connected here to the san andreas fault the southern branch uh, as it extends down further south. Uh, Ridgecrest today, still seeing some activity. Seeing the red circle there. 1.1 uh, kicking up just east of the Ridgecrest region and some further movement up north uh, throughout the morning. Nevada and the eastern crest of the Sierra Nevada all getting in on a little bit of activity over the last 24 hours and also some uh, noticeable earthquake activity up here in the northern California region. Return a deeper movement. Looks like the USGS is reporting some of that activity, but I've been watching that uh, seismograph station this morning there at Petrolia, and uh, things have been kicking up there. Um, a lot more earthquake activity than the couple earthquakes shown here on the map, so hopefully they will get to that. Uh, but either way, deeper earthquake activity into the Cascadia subduction zone in the southern end uh, up through the Cascades movement around the Mount Rainier area. Nothing significant, just some microquakes at the moment there at the volcano uh, the intermountain west regions yellowstone a little line of activity once again stretching up into the uh, yellowstone area kind of from the southwest right across this line here where we're seeing right right just north of the garlock garlock uh, fault structure you can see that line right here i still need to figure out my whiteboard so i can draw here on the screen but that's going to be fixed here pretty soon uh what do we got here north riverside some movement kicking up 1.4 near the uh, Redlands area and uh, Salt and Sea area looks pretty quiet for now. Let's go ahead and check uh, Earthquakes uh, Ala or uh, Canada real quick. Let's see if these guys have anything new here on the map. Uh, looks pretty quiet. Not even, uh, well, it looks like one little earthquake over here uh, in the purple circle in the, uh, looks like outside the Quebec area, 1.0. That's a pretty small earthquake out there. Other than that, not a whole lot of movement going on there in the Canada region. The uh, rest of the globe, South America pretty quiet. Uh, we did have another earthquake over here around Haiti within the same area, another 4.5. Still watching that zone pretty quick, uh, pretty closely. Uh, Hawaii, zoom in here to the map on the all magnitudes. Uh, a little heightened movement up here around Mauna Loa stretching towards the Kilauea volcano. Southeast flank looking pretty active today within the last hour with a uh, typical earthquake activity occurring down there on the southeast region with quite a few twos at uh, some reasonable depths there at 33 to 34 kilometers uh all right folks uh that's gonna be it i will be back a little bit later on this uh this uh evening with a complete update i'm getting the stream up and going i did go down here just a little bit ago um not 100% certain why, but uh, it is what it is. We'll figure it out eventually. And I don't think it was a cat. I don't allow cats here in the house. So, no, uh, I don't think any animal would do that. 
because I don't keep animals in the house. So anyway, guys, we'll chat you a little bit later on this evening. Stay safe out there and be prepared. Uh, watch in Southern California area. Peace out, everyone.